wears sunglasses again. I'm gonna turn around for some sunglasses. It's been so long since I've worn sunglasses. so much better. I've been stuck wearing my glasses for like a week. It means I haven't been able to wear my Heatwave Visual Sunglasses, which you can get 10% off all of those using the coupon code Duel with Dan, by the way. Good afternoon, everybody. It's your boy Duel with Dan, and I am in my C8. Now, before this video starts, I'm gonna get something out of the way real quick. This is not like a douchey YouTuber review of his own car. I am not a, a car review person. It's not who I am. If you want an honest review on the C8, you need to look at some other YouTube channels, man. There's a, there's plenty of other YouTube channels to look at. If you want to hear a good review of the C8 that I think is accurate and funny, uh, regular car reviews, I've been following that guy for a long time. I think he's, he's always had some really awesome, funny car reviews. Um, this is not what this is. This is not a car review. I am not a car review channel. Maybe other people haven't talked about. Some of them probably have. There's a guy on the boat. There's a guy on the bicycle ridge. There was a motorcyclist on what we call the rape trail. Was that Rodney on his monkey bike? Now, like I said, this is not gonna be a review on the car. It's just gonna be like the, the weird points that are kind of important to me that I wanna talk about in no particular order. I'm probably gonna ramble, but you guys were like, do review on the C8. And I was like, I'm not a car review guy. And you're like, we really wanna see more C8 shit. And uh, this is what you guys got. It's not what you wanted. It's not even what you deserved. It's just what you guys got. Okay, for instance, let's talk, let's, let's jump right into it, man. One of the things that I do like about this car is that little blinker noise. There's no tic-tac, there's no clickety-clacks. It's just, listen, it comes through the speakers. This little bose right here in the corner. I know that's not something that people are gonna find interesting. I do, I like that. The second that Justin got the C8, he basically let me drive it. And that was the first thing I noticed was like the little clickety-clack sound from the blinkers. It's adorable. There we go, let's put on tour mode so you can hear it better. The exhaust valves close. Do you appreciate that like I do? I really think it's adorable. I'm already starting off this video very bad. It's like, hey, what do you like about your car? I like the blinkers. Nobody in the history of Corvettes ever have used the blinkers. Because people usually buy BMWs before they buy Corvettes, and then they just forget how to use blinkers. I have to go to the bank. <laughs> but fuck it, let's, let's continue talking about this. Now listen to the noise it makes when you put it in the park. Ding dong. This is gonna sound weird, but it reminds me of a video game. I feel like they've done that intentionally. I feel like they built this car around people who play video games. I mean, think about it. Look at the steering wheel. It's a fucking square. If that doesn't say I have a duct tape steering wheel to my desk at the house so I can play Forza, I don't know what does. Is that the seats? Wow, those seats are loud. Sounds like my PC when I open up Google Chrome. But yeah, man, look at this. Look at the interior, the way this thing is set up. You have a big LCD display here to look at your unimportant shit, like your music, or the most important shit. You have a display here telling you all the information that you could ever experience in a video game. It doesn't even seem like real information that they can catalog, but they somehow managed to do it. They got gyros in this thing so they can measure your G-force. People keep asking me why I keep buying GM vehicles just so I can crash GM vehicles. Uh, truth is, is that GM vehicles just make cars so easily crashable, you know? Side note. Look at these comically small sun visors. I've driven in a lot of cars. I've owned a lot of cars with small sun visors. I thought the ZL1 sun visors were hilariously small until I got this car. Was that like five inches? I bet every one of my followers' dick is bigger than this. Big pee pee gang, boys. Okay, seriously, I don't want to do most of this video while at the bank. Moving on up, moving on up. I think I have to have my ID to deposit cash into my bank account, which is ridiculous. Like if someone wants to just come by and give me cash, Please do. Just do it for free. It's for free. Just come on, buddy. Yeah, come on. This happened to me at the uh, pharmacy the other day where they couldn't see the Corvette because it was so low, so they had no idea I was here. Ping pong. Like everything in this car is built like a video game, right? You ever play the game Astroneers? Doesn't this sound like the game Astroneers when you finish something in like the research center? Ping pong. Hello. You see me? Just wanna tell you how I'm feeling. Hello, sorry, I was jamming. Thank you, I just picked it up. How have you been? I'm good. Good, it's good to see you. Good to see you I think they were making fun of me. Side note, the other day, Laura and I went to uh, 
just the smoke shop. We just started listening to like 90s and 70s music on repeat, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Just listen to like old music we grew up listening to. And it was, it was so wild. One of the things I think about is being like the first person in the world to like play certain songs in a C8. Like I had to be the first person in the world to play Bloodhound Gang in a Corvette. <laughs> oh yeah. Diodynamic is sending me out a bunch of light bars for the ambulance. Thank you guys. Thank you guys, Diode. You guys are very nice. Uh, it's a, the new C8 Corvette. They just started making them. Hi. Thank you so much. It does it with your red truck. <laughs> it does, it matches. Have a good one. It's good to see you. Okay, so hear me out. Going back to my topic, I know that was a long detour to tell you guys that this, this car feels like a video game. The way it drives, the way it handles, the way it smells, the way it feels. Everything about this is like video game inspired. At least that's my opinion on it. I wouldn't be surprised if like the people who are behind the, the production team of the C8, like the design team, would not be surprised if it was 100% video game inspired. I mean, everywhere between like the styling of the car, like the edginess of it, hard to explain, but driving this car genuinely feels like, like a simulation driving experience almost. Like the way it handles, the way it feels, the way you sit, the steering wheel. So as far as like, oh, okay, you're gonna, really? Really, you're a fucking moron, what are you doing? Simulated driving experience is not real. Oh yeah, the exhaust valves have been closed. There we go. I'll transition this into another point. Um, kind of go into the way it, it drives. Obviously, like the feel of the car and the way the car drives are different, in my opinion. Like a car can feel one way and drive completely different than how it feels. Like a Hellcat, for instance. That car feels like it would handle really well. When you're in the car, you feel like it handles really well in turns because of the way the steering is set up. But you go into a turn, it's like, <laughs> not for me, dude. LOL. Whereas like this car, really does handle the way it feels like it would handle. I know that's probably not gonna make a whole lot of sense to a lot of people, and that's okay. I don't expect it to. I didn't wanna buy one of these cars, right? Until I rode in it with Justin. Justin took me through the mountains in his and beat me to a pulp and showed me like what like show me what the car is capable of and how it drives and how it handles the turns and that there's really no limit. It's crazy how this car just kind of goes. And that's when it was like Okay, it, it was a done deal. After being able to drive it and have seat time behind it, it was without a question what I wanted to, you know, to fit the bill until I can eventually be lucky enough to afford the McLaren. We, we talked about this in my last video. Um, if you wanna know more about like how I bought the car, you can go check out that last video about the car. It's called I Bought a C8. Uh, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna, uh, I was really late on that stoplight, but it's okay. That was illegal but it's okay. But I genuinely think there's probably nothing else in this car's price range off the showroom floor that can handle like this because this car is 100% stock. I guess what I'm saying is a lot of people buy these cars so they can put turbos on them that don't make any horsepower and then drive them from point A to point B and that's their car. Cool, it's not why I got this car. I got this car because I want to drive it. I want to drive it hard. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, what, what, it's such a nice car. How can you drive it the way you want to drive it? You know, and like, well, that's the point, right? It's literally the reason I bought the car is because I, I want to be able to drive a good car hard. <laughs> like the Camaro could never compete with this car. In real world conditions, like the Z01, even with the way I had it set up with like meaty, wide set, grippy tires and all that extra downforce with the canards and the spoiler and stuff, could not hold a candle to this car. To give you an example, I bought this car, the C8, went to the mountains the next day, less than 24 hours. It'd probably been like 18 hours of having the car less than two hours in the seat time, drive it up to a pretty challenging mountain road with no guardrails, and then Justin and I drove this car and his car harder than I'd ever driven a car before, and it wasn't even like a tenth of what the car was capable of. I, I went all that way around to say that I like the car the way it drives. It drives like a video game. There you go. I said it. I fucking said it. Look, we got Georgia State Patrol, GSP guys. Just lined up, just looking. There's a bunch of them. One, two, three, four. Man, they really looked at this car. I'm sure people are gonna be like, Dan, you talked about twin turbos a lot. Are you gonna twin turbo yours? Uh, probably not. I think at most, I'll probably put a fat cam in it and that'll be it. That's a that's assuming that putting a cam doesn't affect drivability because automatic stall converters, I don't know how that's gonna work 
in a mid-engine car? I have no idea. I don't know enough about cars. I think, I think I'd like to just have a cam though. I think that's about all I really am interested in. Like 500-ish horsepower to the wheels. I think that'd be great. Does the car need more power? Yes and no. I think from the factory, exactly where it sits, this car is perfect. If you had to buy a car and not do fucking nothing to it, not do anything, it would be this car. Unfortunately, it is not who I am. I will be doing things to mine. Lots of things. Wheels, definitely. Wrap, guaranteed. Ceramic coat the wrap? Fuck yeah. Spoiler, oh yeah. Side skirts, definitely. Corsa exhaust, for sure. Already have that one uh, on the way, kinda. They gotta make it first, but yeah. BMW wants to play a little bit. That's cool. That cop was gonna pull out, oh man. I wonder if I'm gonna get pulled over for the shit I just pulled. Cause I just like kind of blocked a cop. Big oops. He's gonna be like, I don't like that shit. I even accelerated when he pulled out. But I'm in a red Corvette. I could be five miles away from him and he'd still see me, you know? Well, another thing that I noticed about this car is the air ride system or the like the raised lift system. Uh, the front lift system, when you go over speed bumps or like drive out of your driveway, like steep angles, I love it on this car because it's so fast. It takes like two and a half seconds and it's like completely raised. And to lower it, it's just as fast. So normally if I was probably in like a McLaren or something, I would raise it once and then go over all the speed bumps and then lower it while it looking like a monster truck in the front the whole time. But this thing's so fast, by the time I got over the first speed bump, I had it lowered back down and could continuously do that. It was up and down. And sure, that's gonna create wear on the product, the part that's gonna break. But I mean, GM's factory warranty and recalls, they'll have it fixed. They're so reliable. <laughs> <coughs> I'm gonna fill this bitch up. Not because I need to, but because it's probably the only chance I'll have for the rest of the afternoon. Oh man, look at this welding rig. Fuck yeah. Talk to this dude about his truck. Oh man, I love welding rigs. Oh man, that thing's so cool. Last cars. See, so the welding rig shows up, then there's a Mustang that just showed up covered in badges and shit like stickers. And then on top of that, this SS Nova pulls up. It's cammed as fuck with traction bars, skinnies up front, radials in the rear. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. You guys see this guy? Man, that thing's badass, brother. I like your car. A C8 Corvette. What year is that? 73? I got a 73 Camaro, man. It don't look anything like that, though. That's pretty as fuck. Watch your little She's getting there. Have a good one. Right, you, too, bro. Be safe out there. you too. God dang, that thing's pretty. Man, all these cool cars, cool people, middle of nowhere gas station. Where, where am I? Where am I? I think I'm in your rock mark. This thing still gets out. That's another thing I like about it, man. It still, it still kicks the wheels out. I thought I was gonna lose that with this car because it's, you know, mid-engine, automatic, but like, I can still do donuts in this bitch. I can still whip it. Like, I still have a fucking blast in this thing, man. And the turning radius, another thing I'll mention, really tight, that's good. Kind of think about it, I really thought I was gonna have a lot more bad things to say about this car, but it's just kind of stuff that I like. if I didn't say that the attention was probably my my favorite aspect of it. Like, and probably not in the traditional douchey way. I just missed having a really cool car, you know? When I wrecked the Z01, I went from being like the guy in the neighborhood that had the cool car, and was like, oh, that guy likes cars, to being like, ah, oh, just some guy with a truck. And it's not like I, I care to impress anybody. It's not about that. I just missed having a car to drive. I missed having my car, man. And like, trucks are cool. I love trucks. I love my truck. It's not my car, you know? This is like, this is my car. This is my car, bro. It's something that people who aren't into cars will never understand. Like, 
This is my car, bro. Also, I'm sorry if this video is kind of like all over the place because it's been a long time since I've sat down and made a video, especially like this. Uh, now that I have an editor and a cameraman, this is the first time I've been able to like break away and do my own video and edit it, um, especially since I'm still fighting with some other shit with the shop and whatnot. I think it's been like, it's been since I did a video in the Camaro that I've done a video like this, the old Z, uh, the old SS 1LE, the orange one, where I was doing like the uh, five driving habits or something video. I mean, it's been, it's been a long time since I've been able to do a video like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. I hope you guys found it entertaining. I'm sure you didn't. But everyone was like, bro, like I wanna know more about the C8. Give me videos on the C8, which I get, and I wanna get them out, but I don't want them to suck either. So it's kinda like a dance in a fine line, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, one more thing. Let's talk about the backup camera before I close out this video. I'm gonna do this. So I like this, I like this a lot. You put it in reverse, backup camera, and then you still get your rear view mirror, which I didn't even talk about in the video, but I really wanted to. I'm also gonna hit the front lift, and it's pretty much already lifted. So the backup camera is really nice, since it's super wide angle. This is really tight. This little, uh, little. I guess GM is doing this on a lot of their their vehicles now too, because even uh, Gavin's truck, it's just a Sixes truck, had this in the uh, is the rear view, which I think is fucking cool. Like I know it's gonna sound weird, it's like, oh man, you have a TV for your rear view mirror. You know, Tacoma's kind of been doing that for a long time. But the rear view mirror, like, the, you have zero visibility in this bitch. That's 100% true. Because uh, you got the, you know, the whole engine's back there. Forget that sometimes. It's just really hard to back up and drive this thing, especially at night. And everyone's telling me, uh, even TJ Hunt, him and I chatted on Instagram briefly. Uh, he was like, let's wide body your Corvette, bro. And I was all like, fucking, I guess I have to now, but I can't. Now I think about it, I cannot physically do it. This car barely fits in my garage. It's not a wide car, it really isn't, but the mirrors stick out so wide. And the body, the wide body kit, I know for a fact sticks out farther than the mirrors. So there's no way I could park this thing in my garage. Big bummer. So I'm sorry, TJ, I know you seemed excited about giving me a, a kit. I just don't know if I can do it, man. All right, now I'm certainly positive that I didn't answer every question, nor did I try to in this video. I wasn't even really trying to answer questions as much as I was just rambling about stuff that I noticed. But if you leave me a comment with some like personal questions about the car, like what you want to know about it or what you think about it or like say, hey, what, does it do this? How does it feel when you do that? Can you do this? Um, please feel free to ask them below and I'll do my best to answer them. I, I'm having a fun time owning the car. It's been my, my favorite car by far that I've owned. I've only had it for like two and a half weeks now. And I can't, it's hard for me to even make content on it because I'm just happy driving the thing. I don't want to think about it when I drive it. I don't want to record. It's just like usually when I go, it's like, holy shit, like this is the best. And I'm sure that'll wear off. It always does. But just to let you guys know that I'm doing my best. And um, yeah, okay, I'm going to end the video now, for real. <laughs>